what's up you guys it's sunny avi in this video i am just going to continue the live readings that i did not get to once again thank you guys so much for joining me on live it was fun um it's very quick um so yeah um i'm going to get back on live hopefully hopefully child either 7 30 eastern standard time or 8 eastern standard time um, I'm going to try to do lives in the morning too, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to do, um, the people, well, I'm going to do the person that paid via cash app first. The first three letters of your name are L-A-P, and then for the last name, the first three letters are A-R-N. You wanted a general freestyle. Um, you just want a card pull. Let's see what's going on. The word that I'm hearing for you is focus. All right, so you have the strength card right now. I feel like you need to focus on people's words, okay? And you need to make sure if their words are complementing their actions. And I'm also picking up that you need to um, focus on the things that you're putting into your body. For some reason, I'm paying more attention to the lion's mouth. I'm also hearing the word lion's den. So um, be mindful of what's happening in the dark. And you can take that how you want to. Whether it's um, like someone's keeping secrets, you're keeping secrets. Maybe your dreams are a bit more darker than usual. Um, maybe uh, it's time for you to understand the darker side of life. Shit, my phone went to die. It's time for you to um, like understand like you know the shadow self. But be mindful of what's you know going in the body. And maybe not food necessarily. Maybe so food, but you know everything that you take in. Okay. Um, for some reason with you your mouth is a very strong portal and i feel like you take a lot in through your mouth um so be mindful of you having your mouth open while you sleep uh, maybe you're having teeth problems during this time uh, maybe you need to um cleanse like orally like take uh like herbal teas you know drink lemon drink limes you know i feel like you need to um cleanse yourself um, internally. That's what's being shown to me. Well, good luck with everything, love. Thank you so much. Alrighty, so next, um, we have the people that paid via website. Um, we have Chuki, if I'm pronouncing that right, Chuki. You are an Aquarius, if I'm not saying that right, if I'm not saying your code name right. But, um, you wanted to know about love. Okay, so let's see. Y'all, this freaking the lip stuff I got is getting all over my teeth. All right, so let's feel good. I feel like you need to be mindful of nosy people. Goodness, I'm not sure if your love life is all over the place, but I'm having a hard time with these cards right now. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords. Um, <laughs> and it kind of makes sense with definitely how the cards were acting. Um, I feel like you don't really know where to begin. <sighs> if you are partnered up, you and your spouse are not in the right place right now. And if you are single... I feel like you are tired of feeling stuck. You're tired of meeting people who you don't connect with. Like, I, I just feel like regardless of if you're single or if you're partnered up, like, there's this issue of, like, not feeling just, not, not feeling justified is what I'm picking up more. Um, just feeling stuck and not really knowing what to do. And it's annoying and you kind of hate it. But I feel like right now you need to be mindful of not blaming everybody else 
and not looking at everybody else's faults, whether this is present or past. Um, but take a look at yourself right now. You know, take take a look at it takes two, honey, and I feel like you need to be mindful of your half. Okay, and you can take it how you want to, whether you like it or not. Uh, you need to be mindful of what you're putting out. You need to be mindful of of what you're feeling and you know what you're saying and what you're and what you are expecting, and make sure that your expectations for the self and for other people are realistic during this time. Make sure you know you are surrounded by someone who who is genuine about you. And like honestly, if somebody really cares enough about you they're going to change their ways they're going to compromise you know it's it, it takes two you know so once again try not to look at someone else's faults and like just be mindful of the changes that you need to make but there's a spirit that said like i said previously if somebody really cared about you they will change their ways and you will change your ways for them so you can say that you want to love all right but good luck with everything all right so Next, we have um, fire. The first three letters of your first name is A-S-H. Uh, first three letters of the last is S-T-E. And you are a, um, you are like a, a Pisces, Aries, Copes. Why am I saying Copes? <laughs> Cuss. Okay. But you wanted to know um, about your ex, uh, Mr. D. You wanted to know how he felt about you. Um, he, he, is, he is unsure about what to do with this situation. I do feel like there's a possibility of him coming back, to be honest. Um, cause I keep picking up on, um, the term window of opportunity. So I'm not sure if this is you or this is him. It's like trying to figure out like when's the right time to come back, how to say the right thing. But I do see him coming back. Okay. I'm picking up, uh, in weeks, in a matter of weeks is what's being shown to me. Um, rather, hey, a week starting some months, but I feel like the time frame of weeks is popping up but um it isn't stable okay and this isn't something that you need to endure in during this time uh the song better off alone <laughs> is popping up in my head so maybe you know he, he's better off alone right now uh i feel like the both of you have some maturing to do but um you know, I, I feel like with you, like, you need to be more cautious about what you are accepting. I'm not sure if there is a child in the picture, but for some reason, I keep picking up on a small boy. Um, Whether there was a possibility of you and him having a boy, whether you both have a boy or one of you have a little boy. But for some reason, a, a little boy keeps showing up in my head. But, um, yeah, I, I feel like Mr. D, like... He misses you, but I feel like at the same time, like, you're more of a comfort to him. Like, he's 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 going to come back to you because he's used to you. You know, he, he isn't coming back because he genuinely wants to change and, you know, genuinely wants to be with you. I just feel like it's just a matter of, like, you guys are used to each other. And it's just like, she's going to accept me anyway. She's been dealing with me, you know. Like, that's how it's coming off. And I, I just feel like it, it isn't genuine. But good luck with everything. All right, next we have your code name is Stone. I don't know why I'm giving y'all code names, but I'm just saying y'all's name low-key. But the first three letters of your name is J-E-S. And you are a Virgo. Okay, you wanted a general. You wanted to know about love. So let's see. What's in store for you? Okay, we have the Knight of, mm, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, um, I feel like, I'm not sure if you are horny or if you come in contact with people who are horny, like there's a lot of sexual energy. Um, 
maybe like your energy is just very like sexual i'm not trying to call you a hoe or anything but like it sometimes our energy is, can just be very attractive and like it makes people horny so i mean that's that's possible um maybe your sacral chakra um is being affected when it comes to your love life um maybe like like i said people just it just seems like they want sex they're always horny um maybe there's an issue you know with you not getting to know the person fully um but i feel like you need to be cautious as well when it comes to love and when it comes to sharing yourself not only sexually but spiritually emotionally um verbally i feel like you just need to make sure you are in contact with someone that really respects you okay um but i feel like for the time being for for the next couple couple of years i'd say i feel like that okay, i'm gonna be honest with you for some reason the the six there's a sixth year okay so I'm not sure if you're going to find stable, happy love within six years or if you're going to have this issue like for the next six years where you're going to have an issue with your sacral chakra, where there's issues with sex, there's issues with intimacy, there's issues with um, loving yourself, you know, and, and feeling comfortable with someone. Uh, so you are going to have to be mindful about that. If you do have an issue with, you know, being intimate, not just sexually, you know, just feeling comfortable around somebody. Like if you are having this issue, then this is something that you need to, uh, this is something that you need to try to heal, try to heal. The angels are saying take part in, okay? They're saying you need to take, you need to take part in healing yourself, okay? Um, so try to heal yourself. Mainly, it's okay to go to other people, you know, for cleansing and, you know, to uh, get your uh, acoustic records read. Like, that's okay. But a lot of the times, it's most important that we learn to heal ourselves. That's the main thing that I'm picking up um, with this Knight of Wands. For some reason, the month of October popped out. So, I'm not sure if there was something that happened in the month of October that may resonate with you. Um, or if you tend to meet a lot of Scorpios and Libras, maybe you're attracted to them more, maybe you find them annoying, but there's something about the time frame of October as well that's in regards to like just a trigger. Like there, for some reason, October, whether this was in the past, present or future, for some reason, October is going to be a trigger month for you, but definitely heal right now. Seriously, definitely heal. But hopefully you guys um, enjoyed your little readings. Thank you so much for being patient. And thank you so much for uh, getting these readings. I truly, truly appreciate it. Once again, you guys, I will try my best to get back on live either 7.30 or 8 Eastern Standard Time. But once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Good luck with everything. And I shall see you next video. Take care. Bye.